Before we start, I want to say that as teachers and school staff, we're not in this game for the adoration and the gifts. A little bit more respect from the powers that be, maybe, but we are always never expected and we are always so appreciative of any gifts that we receive. And I'm sure I speak on behalf of every teacher when I say that when we do receive gifts, we will always accept them with the utmost love and care, knowing that for that child, it might mean the absolute world. But that doesn't mean we can't have a little bit of a giggle at some of the more unusual and random gift choices teachers have received. My friend went off on maternity leave and was given a DVD of the birth of a little girl in her class. Wow. I mean, where do you... <laughs> it's no win situation there for the teacher. Surely you cannot watch that. But then at the next parents' evening, what's going to happen? Oh, have you managed to uh, watch and enjoy the gift we gave you? Uh, oh no, I've not actually got round to watching it yet. I've been a little bit busy. Or, yeah, I did watch it and I tell you what, hats off to you. Is the stitches a bit, is it all healed now? Are we all back to normal? A child took a spoonful of ice cream from their freezer and carried it all the way to school for my Christmas present. Bless them. Just gotta hope it's not chocolate ice cream because that would be panic stations. What have you got in your hands? A plastic analog clock with the student's face as the face of the clock. A gold model of a rocking horse with a bear riding it, covered in gold glitter. I think it was designed to go on a child's grave. When I thanked the mum for my lovely gift, she had no idea what I was talking about. That's going to make for one awkward conversation with the child. Now this one just reads as one of the worst examples of the generation game I've ever seen. Colleagues have received in the past breast firming cream, a six pack of Muller Corners, a dress that was three sizes too big, mum's actual real jewellery. That could only be topped with, and that was just for the male members of staff. A half-used mum roll-let deodorant stick. Oh my word. A box of roses. Textbook. When I opened them, he'd eaten them all. <laughs> Except the coffee ones, and rightly so, which mug eats them. But left the empty wrappers. Now that does annoy me. Also in the box was a note from the young man saying the temptation was too great and seeing as it was Christmas, could I use a bit of Christmas spirit and not tell his mum? Hey, up there for thinking. And I'll tell you what, if you're dropping temptation in a sentence, I'm letting you off because that's top level vocabulary. Teeth. Yes, real teeth. The little girl in year three said, did you find the special gift I've hidden in your handbag? Oh yes, thank you, thank you for that. What am I supposed to do with actual human bones? I can't put it on display in my classroom and look like I've starred in the Silence of the Lambs. I'm a serial killer who's keeping tokens of the victims I've killed. Two rolls of toilet paper, environmentally friendly and in beautiful packaging, which is a hot gift in 2020, given everything that was stockpiled during lockdown. And there were just so many examples in the comments where it just was such a little teacher burn with some of the gifts like this one. Anti-aging night cream. I was in my 20s. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what teaching does to you. It ages you terribly. Look at me. I'm only 22. Here's another one. Not odd individually, but one year I received 15 tubes of hand cream from a class of 32 children. I don't have particularly dry hands, but that would make you paranoid just looking at your hands like, is it really that bad when half your class choose to buy you hand cream. Not sure if it's the mug I received from a parent with their child's face on, or the mug with my face taken from the school website, which we know are never flattering. Both a little creepy if I'm honest, but both greatly received, and rightly so. But this is the thing, when we get gifts that have the children's faces on, we can never use them because we, can, we can't put ourselves in a position where we're being accused of favouritism. A car stereo with the wires hanging out of the back. The child who brought it for me had seen me arrive in a new car. I was very touched, but I handed it straight over to the head, because that's likely to be key evidence. Condoms and sex toys. A huge box for the whole staff. Flipping heck. Would love to know what your Christmas do's like. And I couldn't do one of these videos without a truly disgusting example, and this one is up there. It is. <clears throat> but hats off to the teacher who received this gift and was able to make it out like she was, you know, happy with it. A child's Veruca scab in a presentation box. Wow. Disgusting. So I'm gonna finish with this one as I think it really does sum up how teachers feel when they receive gifts. Best gift I ever received as a teacher was a penny in a matchbox carefully wrapped in newspaper. His family was very poor. 
I still have the penny 40 years later to remind me that it is the love, not the value of the gift. Amen to that. And I think that really does sum it up that as teachers, we just love the job that we do. We are there to just help our pupils and try and make a difference in their lives. So gifts are never expected, but always appreciated. And I'm sure I speak on behalf of every teacher when I say that this Christmas, all we ever want is to know that all our pupils and students are just safe and well. So I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. I hope it's given you a bit of a giggle. Like